On this video, I'm going to show modded parts that I created get put into the Cooler Master Elite 130 case. I start by installing one of the rubber pads used to reduce vibration on the existing screw hole. Now I'll test to make sure that the actual rack fits properly within the case. Looks good, straighten it out a little bit. Then I use some masking tape to hold it down so I can mark where the holes need to be drilled on the other side. I'll using the case as the template once I've turned it over. Okay, it looks like there are three usable holes. Mark them. Good, straight, double checking it. Okay. Let's get this out of here. Now I just use a regular nail and hammer to center tap each of the holes. Nail's not usable again after that, but that's fine. It's a quick punch, works fine. Make sure I get all three. Now I open up my uh, set for the drill and tap, and I pick the 6 32 pair of bits. I install the drill bit on the drill, and I install the tap bit on the special manual handle. Then I start drilling the three holes. sure I keep it straight. I always use a block of wood underneath to make sure that I have a buffer there. It doesn't cause any problems. Otherwise sometimes the drill, I've actually broken the drill bit once. When it hits the wood it slows it down. There you go. All three holes drilled. Now I use the tap the manual handle. This you got to be very careful of. You got to do it very slowly, get it straight. The threads are in a thin piece of metal like this can easily get messed up. So you go in slowly and you come back out slowly in the opposite direction. It gets easier as you drive deeper. Carefully take it out, don't mess up the threads. Now I test all three tapped holes with the, the actual screws and rubber buffers. Make sure that the threads were created properly. I still got the one that I put on there from before. I didn't take that one off, so this will have now all four of the screws and rubber bumpers on it. Don't over tighten these. This is very important. Those holes are, are not tempered and they can easily be ruined. Okay, let me test it inside of the case and make sure it fits okay. You have to push it into those little holes back there, the larger openings, and then you sort of push it forward in order to lock it in place. There you go. Locked in. Nice and sturdy. Okay, good. Now I use my drill press because I'm trying to drill additional vent holes inside the bracket. The drill press is needed because I'm drilling very large holes into a very small piece of metal. If I try to do it by hand, it'll probably run away on me. Maybe even cut my hand pretty badly without gloves. This is the top part of the case. I marked it all off with a marking pen prior to this so I could get the holes fairly close to where I needed them. Not perfect, but good enough. That smoke is actually the wood, not the metal. <laughs> 
now I actually cut out the hole that's needed for the fans on the piece of metal that I've modified to support those fans. I'm using a jigsaw and I'm using a blade that's meant for cutting of fine steel. Don't use a wood one on this. It would cause all kinds of problems. I come in this set of four or five. Very cheap. Be very careful and very slow on this. Since I already had a slot in this piece of metal, I was able to use that as a starting point for the jigsaw. If I didn't have that, I would have had to drill a rather large hole big enough to allow me to get the saw blade through it to start off with, making sure that I don't drill into the area I want to preserve. Okay, that's it. Now, I paint it. I'm painting it so that it matches with a black satin paint so that it matches my case and doesn't stand out as anything unusual. It'll also go with the theme. Uh, I plan on getting some, uh, some color inside the case as you'll see when I get into the final installation. But I actually had to paint this with four very light coats, two on each side in order to cover everything and not to cause any globs of paint, which is a standard method you should use when using a spray painter. A day later now. These are the completed parts. I have the hard drive case, which has been modded to allow for cushioned screws to be mounted in them, similar to other hard drives that will be mounted in that case. I've gone ahead and drilled in as you notice during the prefab part these extra holes in order to allow more cooling to go through this particular cage because it will be mounted sideways inside of the case and then of course the adapter for the the new 120 millimeter fan that'll go on the side these four screws and nuts are ones that I borrowed from my supplier and they fit these holes that I've drilled exactly. I've painted them so that they don't stand out in the case. Remove this cover. There'll be further modifications, as I mentioned in my previous video, that will be modifications to this cover. I will leave that as a surprise for now. You'll see what I have in mind later. Get all this stuff out of here. Put that aside. These fans, both of which are being retired, aside. Get the accessory packet. And then we can go ahead and proceed. So the first thing I will do is insert those rubber buffered screws. So what we should be able to do here now quite easily attach these screws to the drill and tapped holes that I did earlier. I want to over tighten these. Not sure if I extended that far or not, but let me put it in there anyway. bottom now I should see all four of these centered. One, two, three, four, pushed in. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now let me put the fan those screws too but no point now okay 
look at the direction. I want it to blow in. So that's this way. Pretty standard blowing out at the label with the brackets. So this is going to go on the inside. Like this. Side. Not too much tightening. Good, not too tight when you're doing screws on the fans. It's just plastic on the other side of that. So that's good. So we have the direction correct. Let's mount this in here. And, as you can see, I have it set for larger screws up here. And initially not tight at all. Get into that hole. Okay, there we go. That one actually was threading a little bit, so it just worked out that the the hole was just smaller than the screw, and the screw sort of self-threaded into it. I did not show the drilling of these holes on the case, but that was no big deal. I did this part first before and before I painted it, I just put it in place and I marked it. drilled it. So that's great. side and make sure decided not to self thread those I wanted some more strength to it there we go let's get started I used to have a nut starter back in the days of working on mainframe computers and I couldn't find that looking for it recently could not find it Probably in my tool kit that uh, got stripped down in the heat of the battle, as they say. The thread started here, and looks like I got it. I see the thread going in, and the nut staying still. So we're looking pretty good. I'll tighten it right now with a wrench. I have to remove this again before I put things together. Okay. Tighten these up now. Tighten it. Tighten this one. May have to put lock washers in there. We'll see how that goes, but how does that look? Fan it in there. Exactly as I liked. And I have it positioned so that it's right below the power supply and able to provide cooling to the hard drives on one side and to the motherboard, probably for about three quarters of it. I'll be able to cool off the chipset. Anyway, those are the mods that I wanted to do to this case. The next step will be actually putting it together. 
and installing all of the internal computer components to it. Obviously this bracket here is going to go back in place and it's going to actually hold one of the hard drives. I won't do that right now, but you saw me take that off before. The new parts are the modded parts that I've put in here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video showing the modding of the Cooler Master Elite 130 case. And as always, if you found anything useful in this video, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. You will not be charged anything for doing that. And you will not be bothered either unless you also click for alerts, either the little bell or the pop-up that occurs on a mobile device. Well, thank you for watching.